Hi guys, in this video we're going to be painting a Death Watch Space Marine Cassius from start to finish. And first of all I'd like to thank my channel sponsors Goblin Gaming for providing me with the Death Watch box set to paint. Please check the description box down below and you'll find a direct link to Goblin Gaming's web store. Okay guys, this is going to be a long video as usual and I'd like you to go grab yourself a nice hot drink, get settled in and we'll get started. Before starting work on the Cassius Mini, I actually paint another Space Marine face just to settle in and get used to painting flesh again as it's been a while since I've done so. I used the Life Colour box set and I'll put a link in the description box down below to the Life Colour box set which I think is absolutely fantastic. Also I painted and built Cassius in separate parts as you can see. By building and painting in sub-assemblies, it's actually easier to paint the miniature. You may find it takes a little longer to paint it this time, but why rush anyway? The live colour paint set for flesh comes with six paints, but I'm only focusing on using three paints from the set in this video. I'm going to be using Shadow 2, Base 2 and Light 2 colours for this painting tutorial. I've dialed in my compressor at 15 psi which is quite low as I want to get the most faintest paint on the head as I possibly can. I don't want to spoil any of that lovely detail that you can see. Here I'm spraying Shadow 2 as the base coat. I'm now using the base 2 paint just to paint the top surface of the head and trying to avoid the lower parts of the head and underneath the head so just focusing on the top. Now I'm applying the light 2 paint to the model and again focusing just on the top surfaces mainly towards the actual extreme top of his head. I now apply some Reichland flesh shade using a triple naught Winsor & Newton series 7 paintbrush. But rather than painting the whole head with a Reichland shade, I'm actually just picking out surfaces where natural shadows would form. Thank you. 
Here I'm highlighting the extreme edges of the face, so the brow area, the nose, the scar, and any area that really pops out from the model. I'm going back in again and highlighting around the cheek area and the jowls of the face using the base 2 paint. Further highlights are added using a 50-50 mix of base 2 and light 2 colours. The teeth are painted using live colours light 2 paint. The eyes are painted using Games Workshop's Rhinox Hide. I also go around the edges of the mouth and underneath the nose with a Rhinox Hide. The metal parts of the face are base coated using Vallejo Game Air Chainmail Silver. The wire is base coated in Vallejo Game Air Gory Red. It is then highlighted using Game Air Bloody Red. I'm 
rather than using null null which I normally would do on metallics I thought it'd be really cool on this model to actually have a blue tinge to all the metallics and to the power armor so I'm using Drakenoff Nightshade here from Games Workshop just to add a blue tinge to all the metallics Here I'm spraying Vallejo Model Air Black. Here I'm using Vallejo Game Air Imperial Blue and the reason I'm going with a blue colour is I think it's going to look really cool adding just a tiny blue tinge to the black power armour. The reason I go for this is it enables me to add shadows later on on the power armour and also it will add a cool effect rather than just looking all black. Here I'm adding Vallejo Game Air Magic Blue and I'm only adding the most minute amount of paint. I don't want to spoil the black power armor look with too much blue. The shoulder pad however gets a full coat of the magic blue colour as it's going to be painted in ultramarine blue colours.
I'm a huge fan of Games Workshop's new Retributor Armor Gold guys. I highly recommend you picking it up, it's one of the best acrylic golds out there and it paints a really nice smooth base coat. Here I'm painting Vallejo Game Air Chainmail Silver. It paints absolutely fantastic with a regular brush and it also sprays really nicely out the airbrush so you can use this for both purposes. I carry on using the Vallejo Game Air Chainmail Silver on all the other areas of the miniature that are due to be painted with a metallic effect. That includes chains, grenades and also some of the piping on the chest. The ultramarine symbol gets a base coat of Vallejo Game Air Stonewall Grey. Here I've added a one to one mix of Vallejo Game Air electric blue and Vallejo Game Air Magic Blue. That's one drop of Magic Blue to one drop of electric blue. And I'm just painting the very top of the shoulder pad. The left shoulder pad gets a base coat of chain mail silver.
the Purity Seals get a base coat of Games Workshop's A Shabti Bone. I'm applying Vallejo Model Air Black here to all of the shaded areas of the arm. Vallejo Game Air Stonewall Grey is painted onto the ultramarine symbol. Here I'm using Tracking Off Nightshade by Games Workshop again just to shade all the areas of the shoulder pad and I really like the effect that this gives. Here I'm using the Drakenhof Nightshade just to shade round some of the areas of the shoulder pad.
Here I'm dry brushing a 50-50 mix of Vallejo Game Air Chainmail Silver and Vallejo Model Air Silver. The two different paints, I know they're saying similar, but Chainmail Silver and Silver Colour by Vallejo. And I'm just very lightly brushing against the shoulder pad and I'm not scrubbing against it because I don't want to spoil any of that lovely shaded detail. I use the same 50-50 mix on the left arm of the Death Watch Space Marine. Here I've added highlights of Vallejo Game Air Magic Blue to the extreme edges of the armour and if the extreme edges are made too thick it can spoil the look of the miniature so what I do I go back in with Vallejo Game Air Imperial Blue and just touch up some of those lines that are made too thick. Here I'm using the side of the brush and using the angles of the miniature to get the edges using Vallejo Game Air Magic Blue. So I'm actually using the natural angle of the miniature to catch the edges. The haft of the weapon is painted using Games Workshop Screamer Pink. Here I'm painting using Vallejo Game Air Gory Red. And I'm leaving some of the black behind in the extreme shadowed areas.
The leaves on the backpack are painted using Vallejo Game Air Scorpina Green. The book's now getting highlights of Vallejo Game Air Bloody Red. The ultramarine symbols now being painted with Vallejo Game Air White. The book's now getting a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade.
the haft of the weapon gets a wash of Norn oil. I wash all of the edges of the power armor with Norn oil. Here I'm painting just the edges of the power armor using Vallejo Model Air Black. The raised areas of the haft are painted with Vallejo Game Air Warlord Purple. The base is painted using Games Workshop's XV88. The haft gets hard edge highlights of Vallejo game colour squid pink.
All of the gold areas of the miniature are given a wash of Argrax Earthshade. The gun received a wash of Norn Oil and after that had dried it's now getting a dry brush of Vallejo Model Air Silver. The Purity Seal was painted using Games Workshop Screamer Pink and then it was given a shade of Drucci Violet. The rock underneath Cassius's foot was painted using Vallejo Game Air Stonewall Grey and now it's being given a wash of Null Nile. The gold areas are getting a dry brush of a 50-50 mix of Games Workshops, Retribution, Armour Gold and Vallejo Game Air Silver. The purity seals are really simple to paint. Starting with the base coat of a shabti bone, after two layers were dry, I then went over this with a wash of Games Workshop's Seraphim Sepia. After the Seraphim Sepia dried, now I'm going over it with a Gundam marker pen, which is really fine so I can get those really nice crisp lines. The base is being painted with Vallejo Model Air Black. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys and if you have please hit the like button and share it amongst friends and also please don't forget to check out my sponsor Goblin Gaming I'll provide a link in the description box down below and thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video